Focus on cover do Kazaria begins here. The interesting okay. aspect uh, of it being its preservation and protection is, by the relevant uh, authorities. The entrance into the main city or ancient city of Zazo. The seat of the Emirates of Zazo, where the Emir of Zazo lives. Uh, the Emir of Zazo lives inside the city uh, right from the time uh, we can say immemorial because right after the construction of the Bakwa Turunku Palace which is presently the palace of the Emirates uh, Zaria continued to play the role of the headquarters of the Zazo Kingdom. Uh, this Kopandoka is so significant, is so important in the history of Zazo Emirates. Uh, not just because it attracts more activities, no, but uh, at least because even over time, uh, during the period of the Fulani Jihadist, on their arrival, they attempted to force their entry into the city through this Kopandoka, but uh, they couldn't get chance, so they had to go back through Koparbai, where they forced their entry into the city. Uh, as you can see, uh, Kopandoka is so beautifully designed. Uh, there is the one for entrance and the one for coming out. As you can see, the motorists are busy with nobody interrupting them. With, I mean, always having a true passage into the city. Uh, there are other gates of similar... Uh, there are other, other gates that are similar to this Kopandoka. And they are, of course, of paramount importance. Uh, this Kopandoka was built by the Habe administration during the reign of the famous Queen Amina of Zazo. She built this world to protect the, our city from the external attack coming from the aggressors. So, while building the wall, the wall that she built is popularly known in history as Ganwar Amina. So while building the wall, she was so careful to, as well, uh, construct entrance into her city. So as I'm saying, there are other gates similar to this one. There are other seven gates. Uh, this is Kopandoka. There is Kopan Tukutukur, known as Kopan Kibo. Uh, there is Kopan Jatau, Kopan Gayang, I mean Kopan Kuyambana. Uh, after Kopan Kuyambana, there is Kopan Gayang. After Kopan Gayang, we have Kopan Kona, we have Kopan Galadima, then we have Kopan Bay. So all these gates were built at the same time when the world was constructed by Queen Amina.